On the Count of Three stars Gerard Carmichael and Christopher Abbott as two best friends who spend one last day together when they decide to end their lives. Carmichael also directed this, making his debut behind the camera, and this one's been on my radar for some time, especially given this is also a dark comedy, and those are some of my favorite types of movies right after horror. It debuted at Sundance 2021, where it received critical acclaim, yet word on it went radio silent right after, with no release date set for some time, until April of this year, when it was announced it would get a VOD and theatrical release date in May. And now that I've seen the film, I'm happy to say the wait was certainly worth it. Now, if you're worried about this coming off in poor taste, given its comedic undertones and the subject matter in question at the center of it, I completely understand. Though it should be noted that it handles such a sensitive topic with a delicate touch, and never makes that the butt of any of the humor. The film is instead a tragic look at the traumas we endure, along with the realizations that come to us when we think the chips are down. While there's a clear desperation to both Carmichael and Abbott's characters, as they're both in a place of suffering, they're both looking to do what they do for starkly different reasons, with Carmichael's character dealing with a job he hates and he has a rocky relationship, while Abbott's character has spent years in a mental institution and has developed some severe psychological trauma, especially due to a doctor played by Henry Winkler. And there becomes an irony when the two decide to live out one last day together that a sense of purpose is suddenly drawn, especially from Abbott's character Kevin, who's the severely more emotionally damaged one, and the film becomes a look at the things we discover about ourselves and in the world when we believe all is lost, and that ironic sense of optimism that suddenly comes out plays a part in the film's sense of humor, and without ever coming off as mean-spirited, and it's especially great during some sharp exchanges between Carmichael and Abbott. While they are best friends and they do care for one another, we do see some of the eccentricities in their friendship when they have a seemingly mundane conversation, and those are some of the funniest moments. And there are also several solid moments from its supporting cast, who are all more or less just glorified cameos, as these are just meant to be Carmichael and Abbott stopping by quickly for a moment of closure before moving on. The main three people that we see are the aforementioned Winkler, Tiffany Haddish as Carmichael's girlfriend, and J.B. Smoove as Carmichael's father, all of whom were nice to see with what little they had to work with. Now the film's not always the smoothest when it comes to its tonal balance, again it never comes off like it's in poor taste, but it certainly does rock back and forth between being a pitch black comedy and a very sentimental drama, and there are times those swings can feel a little jarring, and I think some of its more sentimental moments don't reach quite as profound of a level as I would have liked as it does feel a little more on the restrained side, but for the most part it worked and it makes On the Count of Three a solid time, handling its sensitive subject matter with care, touching upon meaningful themes regarding our sense of purpose, while still finding ways to evoke some truly dark laughs due to its sharp script and sense of irony. It's an impressive directorial debut for Gerard Carmichael, and I look forward to seeing what's next from him. On the Count of Three gets an 8 out of 10. So let me know, did you see On the Count of Three, or are you planning to see it, and what were your thoughts? Did you like the dark comedy aspects? Are you looking forward to more from Gerard Carmichael? Let me know in the comments below so we can discuss. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and share it. And for more movie reviews and film discussion, please make sure to hit that subscribe button to stay updated. Thanks for watching everyone and keep having fun with film.